Our next row, uh, we call Melnitsa in Russian, which means windmill. You would know it as Kataguruma or Vaminskeri. Uh, another, you know, somewhat specialty of mine, uh, variety of grips, positions, etc. Let's go with a basic one. Uh, before I go on, guys, I want you to understand that in Sambo you can win by what they call clean throw, which is equivalent of uh, Ipon in Judo, only the criteria is a little bit harder in Sambo, right? So in order for me to win by single throw, I have to drop my opponent flat on his back and remain standing, okay? So uh, if they go quickly from butt to shoulders or from one shoulder to another or landing in the bridge, all that constitutes as a back landing, you know, and of course actual flat landing as well. Uh, so, uh, if I throw him flat, remain standing, match is over. Okay, let's go, чистый бросок, clean throw, and we're done. Uh, we'll start with the conventional, right guys? So, we'll start with the uh, uh, elbow grip here and lapel grip here. Um, many people focus on a duck under, which is very important. Of course, the duck under for Feynman scary for Melissa over here is important. But what, what is even more important is uh, to pull your partner. So what happens, this is one of my allegories, uh, I speed Benny up, I make him run, and then I disappear. Just like that. Okay, so he runs because he gets pulled, and then I disappear and he falls over. Right, the more you pull, the, the, the better position you'll gain as far as him on your neck and your shoulders. Uh, I see people pulling inefficiently, but they eventually lift him up. You see how lopsided and weak this lift is? Uh, it's possible to finish, but I'm all about efficiency, right? If grandma walks here, if she can stand on the two feet, she should be able to learn my brand of uh, samba, right? So uh, we pull, we, we pull, oh, and disappear. You see now he's like a lamb on shepherd's shoulder. So that's in a nutshell uh, how to set it up. And again, you can start pushing him, he, he gets scared, you pull him in. Sometimes you can circle and uh, sudden pull and duck under. But that's what we're doing. Penetration step nice and deep, the deeper the better. That counter without uh, bowing, right? Without bending your back. As we pull in, we want to look up if anything, right? Right here. And uh, as far as grabbing, some people teach to grab like this, nothing wrong with that. But if you do kneeling, I mean, scary, for example, there's a good chance Benny is stopping you, stopping your takedown, and getting the crucifix, right? Yes. So what I do, I like to go high crotch this way, right? And uh, because if you go high crotch here, your elbow is hidden. Try to get my elbow on crucifix, he cannot. Uh, if you do standing version, it does not matter because you deprive the guy of the ground, okay? So you can have, uh, you grip this way. Better way is off your partner's underhook, right? So penetration step, pull him, up, you grab him this way. So kata guruma means shoulder wheel. Where is the wheel here? Because I rotate the guy, right? So the way I was taught, I want to rotate head between my legs and dump him towards this arm. Just like that. Kneeling is a good version too. Everything is identical. The only thing now, we're dropping on our knees or actually our shins. Very much uh, like in case with uh, over the back. Right here. You see, he's already doing a nose dive. But by the time I'm hitting the floor, Benny's already elevated and about to go. So, common mistake that I see all the time in a kneeling position people to drop, to try to drop backwards. Ben has a free right arm. He posted that if I try to drop him backwards, he can slap, slide off and end up on my back. So, either stop the throw, counter, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, make sure that you do the guruma action to rotate your partner's head between your legs or if anything slightly offside, okay? It's never directly to the side, it's a little bit in, a, in that corner, in the corner where his strapped arm should be and never backwards when you do the kneeling version. Like such. Uh, guys, no, there's always a contact. Remember I told you that the tripping thing? Like, um, I can make him tripping by pulling, or I can make him tripping by actually, see how I go? My shoulder, as you see, my shoulder is past his butt line. Like, and I, get, I cannot get any deeper, right? So, uh, line up, like, my knees are on either side of his foot, that this is like perfect uh, penetration point. Right here, just let's look at it again. No dumping, right? 
right there. And you can feel, yeah, yeah, you can finish even with one arm. All right, so uh, next option is off two on one. We're going to tape, see how we get here. And to set it up, I can either apply pressure down, wait for him to come up, and then I spin. Uh, great entry. Oh, my favorite entry was, I will give him a shoulder pump. And as he goes one way, I will rotate the other way. Uh, remember the kneeling principle, like super close to him. The beautiful thing about two on one, you can maintain this grip and don't go for high crutch. Like, let's imagine you got burned a couple times with a crucifix and like, oh, I like firing scary. Everything makes sense, except for my arm getting caught. So you can do this version, watch. A little option, a little push. Then I get to G and uh, I still have both of my hands on the same sleeve. I dump like this and in this way. Yeah, here, here, right? I see him right there. Greco style or judo style because there's no leg grabs. And then dump this way. Uh, guys, note. When you do your kneeling fireman scary, when you enter your first entry, I'm, I'm straight up like this. Common mistake, people dump and they go here with their nose above their knees and that's what's gonna happen. Ugly one, right? So make sure you're straight. And as you rotate, as you do groom action, only then do I bow. So once again, I'm straight. Another option. Uh, of the unilateral grip. So it's gonna be reverse and leg, okay? So once you're here, so a uh, normal uh, uh, model of behavior is this way, right? So sometimes a pull bending like such, yes. And exactly, I kind of sell it, he doesn't want his pocket to be opened up because I will occupy it with my hips and throw him. So he goes back and I will, I will help him. One, two, and I'm trailing with a reverse duck under Right here, once again, perpendicular, once again, deep. Some things change, like grips and setups, and other things, like power sources and landing, they never change. And I roll him over my shoulders. So watch, one, two, right, three is back. You can go right away, right? You can, you can clear your arm where you want it to go right away, but deception, right, and trickery is always good. You can do a regular one uh, inverted with the leg of the arm drag, right? I broke the grip, I'm dragging, and I'm going this way. This time I, I did catch the leg. Okay, guys. So, uh, broke, arm drag. Oh. Let's say you have bad knees or whatever, it's hard for you to squat. You can do a sacrifice version. The best to do of all the hook. You can do with this grip as well. So watch guys, what I will do, I'll make a large penetration step, but as opposed to dropping on my knees, my outside leg, my far leg, will go to the outside like a so-called baseball slide. And I drop my partner this way. Better just get behind me, please, thank you. Guys, note, super important in this position. Like I cannot go back again. You see his uh, right arm will be posted. So what you want to do is like a hurdle stretch, like you're stretching, trying to try touch your toes. So there's a trajectory of uh, the dump towards my knee and toes. Like such. Okay. Pull him in, open up, penetration step, and a baseball slide. This way. Uh, often, and this particular one happens in Jiu-Jitsu a lot, I get caught in the front headlock. Yes. And then Ben goes behind me. Oh, I will maintain his grip, right? He releases the headlock, but I maintain his grip. And right here, I catch him. Remember guys, again, I'm not this way, like such. And then I will come up. It's important to come up with this leg first, the one closest to him. Because if I come up with this one, I dump him in a good direction, so to speak. I, I lift him up uh, in a beneficial way for Benny. So what I will do to solidify his lamp position on the lamp shoulder, I will initiate the step with this leg, you see he stops the turning, 
Then I come up and down this way. Great, nice little catch. All right, guys, and uh, often also sometimes I'm shooting for this leg and he sprawls and then I'm gonna switch and go for far. So it's so a far, far and scary. You probably will not lift him. It's gonna be more like a dump. I'll put this leg down and spin bend this way. So I'm not lifting and rotating. I'm basically dumping him. It's a, not as pretty of a version, but uh, great nonetheless. I think it's called dumping wrestling, right? So far leg climb is here. Shooting here, he goes out. We grab it and just circling and dropping this way. Sometimes, guys, like if you have confidence with Fireman Scary, you'll give up down though, right? I'll give it up, yes. I'll give it up right there. But make sure to keep your head or some kind of prop, because now it's hard to duck under, right? So I'll, I'll keep the distance either with my head control or my second grip. Now there is space between us, okay, guys? And uh, circling, pulling, another common mistake, right? The, uh, what Benny can do, like a pancake me, he can use his underhook and twist me back. Just, yeah, exactly. So make sure that uh, you want to glue your elbow towards your ribcage. So my elbow is never pointing sideways. I'm pulling hard on the arm to make him topsy-turvy. And my elbow comes whoop, right in my ribcage pocket here. You see? Look, simple action just like this already controls his posture. You know what I'm saying? So make sure that your sleeve arm is pulling nice and deep. Elbow is pointing to the ground, to the mat, as opposed to flared outward. Give up the arm hook, space between us, here, and here. I know, guys, I showed you a bunch of uh, versions of Fireman Scary, uh, but here's another one, and it's another elbow weave, right? We will plug the grip. So uh, we have Tanya Toshi already, and uh, in the future I will show you a suplex with the elbow weave, and you can do Fireman Scary. So what I do, as opposed to crowding the guy, I kind of flare it a little bit to leave uh, a space in my head. Because normally uh, the throws that I do with the elbow with are, are body throws, right? So I need to be here. But for Fireman Scary, as my elbow travels, my head will follow. And guys, and often, like, often whenever I do Fireman Scary, I brush the legs like this as opposed to grabbing conventionally. Again, because I got caught in crucifix a few times. So it really, uh, and I still love Fireman Scary. It just had me uh, readjusting things a little bit. So watch. Uh, flare the elbow, my head follows, and my hand is right here. Russian as opposed to gravity style. And the grip is so awesome that you can virtually do it with one hand too. Because we generate so much tension. Watch, this hand is just doing anything. It's easy to brush off though. Let's look at it again. My elbow goes in, flares out, head follows. Whoop. And off. A little bit faster. Rotate, straight to arm lock. 